The idea behind shooting Wellington Paranormal and the style that we wanted to adopt was if you were watching Police 107 or Highway Patrol or Border Patrol, any of those kinds of shows, and you that show finished and you went and made a cup of tea and you came and sat back down, you go, oh, well, there's another episode on straight after it, that's weird. And you'd be watching and you'd think it's just another reality show about cops and then all of a sudden up would pop a vampire or a werewolf. It's just a normal reality. Really. I've got to say the main challenge of shooting in this style as a DOP was to throw everything out of the window that would look any good. You absolutely and utterly cannot light anything how you would normally light it. If you do that, you break what the show should be and what it should look like. So it had to look like you had a, um, a sun gun on top of the camera, so a light on top of the camera, and that was the main light in the entire show. Of course we cheated and we put street lights up and all kinds of other things, but you wouldn't know. If you were watching the show, you would think that you were in a park that had street lights, but of course we put them all in. But um, th that was the main thing, and so it was really hard to not try and do things nicely to really, really make it um, look real in a sense of you've just jumped out of a police car and you're chasing someone through a park and that's what it's got to look like. It can't look like uh, American Beauty. Freeze! As far as other things we had to embrace in the style of the show was we didn't want to use um, low loaders, uh, so vehicles on trailers and things like that. We wanted to just have the actors drive around in a police car and talk. So we had to put mini cameras all around the police car and roll them remotely so that they could just drive off and do their scenes and then ad-lib their scenes. That was quite a challenge. The cameras didn't always work, uh, which was embarrassing when it came back and we tried to see if the camera, because the cameras were sometimes cut out halfway through or something like that. And the other thing we did is I ordered a couple of um, police uh, body cameras from China and they shoot infrared and so that worked really really well in the um, ghost house scenes uh, and in the alien scene and quite often I'd just grab that body camera and chase the actors or chase you know a creature with that and it really added to the scariness of it. Uh, there are two favourite things I have. The first one is um, a demon girl episode when she runs around inside the interrogation room and climbs walls and things and that was really, really cool. And the second one is in the zombie episode and we're inside the police car and we set up remote cameras uh, inside the police car and the zombies um, drove up and down Courtney Place and it was brilliant. <laughs> they were yelling out the window because <laughs> it's Christmas, right? So most people are on the raz and they're just slowing down and yelling out the window to people on the sidewalk. You know, hey, good night! Yeah, good night! And the absolutely hilarious. It's brilliant.